To understand the next concept, let's have a look at the alkane series, right? Now, we have discussed before that alkanes are basically those compounds, those hydrocarbons that have single bonds between the carbon atoms in uh, present in them. So, let's have a look. First, we have methane, that is CH4, right? And this is pretty much an alkane because there's only one carbon atom and there is no uh, other bond with any other carbon, so we put it in alkanes, right? So, CH4. Let's have a next carbon atom, which is C2, uh, sorry, uh, next hydrocarbon, which is C2H6. This is ethane. Again, the next one is C3H8, which is propane. Then we have C4H10, which is butane, and C5H12, which is pentane. Now, these are some of the alkanes, right? These are the first five alkanes. Now, let's make some observations, right? This is a series of alkanes. This is a, uh, you know, it is a series of alkanes. And you can see that between these two, between these two, there is a difference of one CH2 unit. Can you notice that? Because if, suppose, we have CH4, and to this we add one CH2 unit, one more carbon and two more hydrogens, so you will get c 2 H6, which is nothing but your ethane. So basically, there is a difference of one CH2 unit. There is also a difference of a mass of 14 U. CH4 has a mass of 12 plus 4, which is 16 U. And C2H6 has a mass of 2 into 12 plus 6, which is equal to 24 plus 6, which is equal to 30 u so if you take the difference 30 minus 16 it is equal to 14 u so you can see that there is a difference of 14 u of mass right between two of the alkane series between two progressive hydrocarbons of the alkane series let's have a look at the others too let's take c2h6 and c3h8 again you can see there is a difference of one ch2 unit right because if you add a ch2 unit to this you get C3 plus H6 plus H2, which is H8. So C3, H8. And again, a mass of 14U. There is a difference of mass of 14U. Again, if you solve it, you'll get it, right? Similarly, for the others too, C3, H8 and C4, H10, there is a difference of a mass of, uh, sorry, of one CH2 unit or of a mass of 14U. Similarly, let's look at the last one. To C4, H10 and C5, H12, again, a difference of one CH2 unit and a mass of 14 U. Right. So you can see that in this alkane series of hydrocarbons, between two progressive compounds, there is a difference of one CH2 unit and a difference of 14 U of mass. All right. This alkane series with these properties, you can see in alkane series, it basically has a general formula, right? If you look into all the compounds, there is a general formula for alkanes. That is CnH2n plus 2. So if you substitute the value of n, you will get a particular hydrocarbon. Here, carbon needs to be present, so you cannot take n as 0. You can take n as uh, n from 1 to whatever number. So n equal to 1. If suppose n is equal to 1, then you get CH2 into 1. That is 2 plus 2. That is also methane. Again, if you take n equal to 2, then you get two carbon atoms, C2, and 2 into 2, that is 4, plus 2, which is 6, so C2 and 6, and so on and so forth. So again, there is a general formula for the alkane series. This is important, okay? This is the general formula of the alkane series, right? So these compounds have been derived from one same general formula, but they progressively differ by one CH2 unit and by a mass of 14U. So, such a series of hydrocarbons or such a series of organic compounds that are derived from the same general formula but progressively differ by a mass of 14U and by one CH2 unit is what we call a homologous series of organic compounds. This is a homologous series of organic compounds. So, derived organic compounds, series of organic compounds,
derived from derived from same general formula and progressively differ by one CH2 unit and 14 U of mass. Right? So that is a homologous series of organic compounds, right? So here we have taken the example of the alkane series. How alkane series is also a homologous series. Again, you can also have an alkene series. Alkenes are also, alkene series is also homologous series. You can also talk about alkyne series, which is again a homologous series. You can talk about the alkenes, which have a general formula of CN, H, 2N. You don't have plus 2. Like in alkenes, we have plus two. Here, the general formula is CnH2n. In alkynes, it is CnH2n minus two. Right? That's for alkynes. So if we try to tabulate this, let's try to tabulate this. Uh, we'll have the type of compound, type of series. Okay? And we'll have the general formula. Let's try to tabulate this for a better understanding. Now, if suppose you have the alkane series, now we have already done this, the general formula is CnH2n plus 2. For alkene series, the formula is CnH2n, you put the value of n as from 1 to whatever and you'll get the compound, you'll get the formula of the compound with this many carbon atoms. Then we come to alkyne where the general formula is CnH2n minus 2. So we have basically these three homologous series in our, um, in our course. Although you can have even more when you put functional groups along with the hydrocarbon. So for example, you can have the alcohol series, right? Alcohol series, which has the fo uh, general formula CnH2n minus 1, H2N minus 1 linked to 1 OH because you know that the OH replaces one hydrogen so that's why we're subtracting one hydrogen hydrogen that is 2N minus 1 actually it should not be minus 1 it should be 2N plus 1 into OH because you know that in an alkane series it's 2N plus 2 but again one hydrogen is being replaced by this OH so we remove one hydrogen so it's 2N plus 2, minus 1, that is 2n plus 1, whole linked to 1 OH group, right? Alcohol. Then we have, uh, let's take something else. Let's take halo group. Halo group is pretty much, you know, same as this. So it's Cn, H2n plus 1, because 1 hydrogen is being replaced by a halo group, to which you attach a halide, right? So I've explained two extra ones, alcohol and halo group, okay? Other than that, you can even have aldehydes, you can have ketones, and you can even have carboxylic acids. But again, they get really, really confusing. So for now, you don't need to really know them. For your NCRT course, these three are most important, and these three, these two are okay. Right? So I hope homologous series is absolutely clear to you. Any doubts are welcome in the comment section below. And this is an important topic, so please keep it in mind.